Hey, I'm Lyle Aspinall. I'm a photog with the Calgary Sun, and uh, these are my favorite pictures of the year. This photo here, um, a moose was, was being tranquilized and taken away to a natural area. The moose was threatening to jump into Crow Child Trail, which of course is a busy road in Calgary. Um, but some passers-by scared it back into a quiet yard, and Fish and Wildlife officers were able to tranquilize it and put it down. And, and you know, when I saw the photo afterward, I didn't even realize it when I shot, but when I saw it afterward, I realized that they both had their tongues out. And to me, that's what made this uh, photo make the final cut, because it's, uh, it's a bit of a mirror image, as it were. This next photo was from a white pride rally that happened in downtown Calgary, and it's one of those assignments where you just really got to keep your emotions in check and uh, just try to get a photo that captures the element of something so hectic and, and crazy. And uh, to me, although there was a big crowd, this one guy screaming from the middle of the, of the one throng uh, sort of helped tell the story, and uh, it keeps jumping out at me. Now, this next photo is Megadeth. They were in town, and what says rock and roll more than you know, fist flying, hair flying, guitars, lights? The photo just jumps out at me. And rodeo, rodeo is one of those things where it's hard to keep the background clean and get faces and peak action all at the same time. And here all those elements came together for me, and so it made it into the final cut. This photo never saw the light of day, and I don't blame it. It doesn't really tell anything about the story, but I just love the expression on the woman's face. It's, the lips say everything. Um, it was just a protest at, a, at an MLA's office, and her and a bunch of other people were dressed up, I guess, to draw attention to themselves, and it must have worked. I turned my camera on them, and uh, I just love the expression. And the gopher, squirrel, whatever, eating a potato chip from the hand. Got to love that. I just love the dynamic connection between the rodent and the, and the hand. Just a good little nature connection. First day of spring. You know, what says first day of spring more than animals coming out and, and starting to bulk up? Uh, the sloth bear was licking honey or some kind of tasty treat off the window at the Calgary Zoo, and um, the kids got up close for a picture. This photo is another one that never saw the light of day. A lot of people might wonder, why is that in there? I don't know. I, I love the dynamic between the two guys that are changing places at the podium. You know, the, the guy looking over his shoulder as he buttons up his jacket as he walks away, the other guy proudly taking the podium. Uh, you know, two politicians who are trying to make their statements um, at a press conference. And the, uh, there's just something about the dynamic between the two that, that makes me keep coming back to that photo. Football, of course, is a big rivalry between the Calgary Stampeders and Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Uh, this is Nick Lewis celebrating a play in, the, in a game where the two teams tied this year. Um, I just like the framing between the two. And speaking of football, you've probably already seen the uh, other shot that my colleague Jimmy Wells has of the same play from the other side. We both love the shot. Um, you know, it's a peak moment in the game. This, this drive actually led to the Alouettes winning the game, winning the Grey Cup. And, uh, you know, you got the face, you got... Um, clean background, uh, the goal line, the ball, all the elements are right there that says the right, that team won the game and that's what you want in the photo. Speaking of Jimmy Wells, there he is with his son Alexander. Um, we're hanging out at an Olympic men's hockey camp and uh, Alexander was attending and Jim was shooting and so they were on opposite sides of the glass and they just clowned around for a while. It was a, it was a good moment. This is my daughter Ella uh, a few days after she was born. Um, she was just laying on her couch, and I snapped a photo and uh, just loved how it turned out. It actually got used on the birth announcement that my wife and I sent out to a bunch of people. So that's it. That's my pictures of the year. I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, stay tuned for next year.